Hey guys, welcome back to Echo Valley Farms. First thing we gotta do today is hook up to the rake and go rake some hay. But before I can do that, I gotta unhook our John Deere 2950 from the small baler. So let's get to it. the rake all hooked up. I'm gonna head out to the field and show you how it unfolds. If you guys are enjoying these videos don't forget to give it a thumbs up, subscribe, turn on your notifications, and comment. I respond to 100% of comments within the first week of the video. So if you have any questions or comments or anything, write them down there. Alrighty, so we got the rake out into the field, but as of right now, it's closed up as if you were, you know, you're done raking and you were just heading down the road getting back to your farm. So we got to undo the rake so that it's out so we can rake two windrows together. So how we do that is we have a couple levers in the tractor which controls this tire and it'll make it pivot out. And then as I back up, these two arms on the rake will split apart and then I'll move that hydraulic ram back and I'll straighten that tire out so it'll go straight down the windrow, just parallel with my tires. And then I have another lever that, uh, that, that controls a hydraulic ram for these baskets. And so then when they get all the way out, I'll tilt these baskets at an angle and it'll bring two windrows of hay together into one. So we'll do that real quick. show you guys something real quick first of all I got the rake all folded back together 
I don't know if you could see this in the video or not, but I just wanted to show you. I just wanted to show you this real quick. So see, when I make a windrow, when I'm, when I'm pulling two windrows together, I try to leave just a little gap of air right in between the two windrows. Some people put them both all the way together. We try to leave just a little gap and the reason for that is if you leave a little gap right down the middle of there, more air can get in there, dry your hay out faster and better. So anyways, just want to tell you that. All right guys, it's been a couple hours since I raked that stuff over there. This is a different field that I raked a couple days ago. And so I've got the baler out here, a Heston 4590. I'm gonna make a couple bales and then check the moisture and see if it's good to go. If it's good to go, I'm gonna bale as long as I can. And if it's not, well, then obviously we gotta let it uh, sit some more, dry out. If there's any way I can make these videos better for you guys, uh, just let me know in the comments and I'll try to do my best. You know, I, uh, I'm not really very good at this. So any, any tips anybody can give me or suggestions or really anything would be helpful. Thanks guys. So we got a few bales made. We always do, when we're gonna check moisture, we always do like four bales. Uh, because there's a couple that stay in the chamber after the last time you bailed, so it's not gonna be a true test of that field that you're on. So we'll test some moisture right here real quick. So we just got this probe, we just stab it in the bale. And then here you just have this little button right here, this little raindrop, and it shows you your moisture. So it says 25.4 on that spot right there. That's uh, that's way too wet. We try not to go above 21. If you go above 21, uh, you get you run into some mold issues. And then on the flip side of that, you also can't go too dry, or all your uh, leaves will just fall off, and you'll just have a bunch of stems left in your hay. But you always check multiple spots just to make sure. That's 22, so that's still too much. Um. 24 so it's not going to be able to bail tonight uh hopefully tomorrow we'll get some decent sun and it should be able to bail tomorrow so we'll see you then so it's been another day since i've been out here in the hay field to check this hay to see if it's ready to bail i just bailed up a few bales and checked the moisture and uh it looks pretty good so we're gonna go for it i'm gonna be running this baler and then my dad's over there kind of far away so it's hard to see but he's gonna be running that baler we only have 20 acres to do, so we'll knock this out pretty quick. So things are going pretty good. We got uh, quite a few bales made. Probably pretty hard to see right there. But then I must have hit a slug or something. And my augers got jammed full of hay. And I broke that pin right there. So I'm gonna have to uh, pull all that hay out and put a new shear pin in. Luckily, my dad's still around the corner there. He's still going, so he'll probably finish by the time I'm done with this, which is a good thing. So 
So I got my baler going again. My dad finished all the baling right before I got it put back together. But anyway, guys, I hope you enjoyed this video. If you want to watch our last video, click here. If you want to watch a video about us grinding some hay, click here. Thanks, guys. Oh,